Howdy guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be looking at an arpeggio with a little shred exercise. Let's take a look. Okay, so the rough idea of what I'm doing is just a three string sweep. A bit of volume might help. And then what I'm doing after that is doing sort of three notes descending through a scale. So what I'll do for the start of that, so I'm basically doing an E minor or an E minor seventh arpeggio. I'm playing 12 of the sixth, 10 of the fifth, and then nine of the fourth. And then after that, I want to play 12, 11, nine on the fourth string. Cool. The next one I hit up is an A major. I want to start from 12 of the fifth. I'm going to play 12 of the fifth, 11 of the fourth, and then nine of the third. Nice major sound there. And then I'm going. I guess we look at this, it's kind of a dominant 7th 5. On this string I'm playing 12, 11, 9 again, but on the 3rd string. So both of those back to back. Okay, we're going to jump across now to another minor shape, basically a B minor. I want to start from 14 of the 5th string, and then play 12 of the 4th, th the and then 11 of the 3rd. And then the descending scale notes go 14, 12, 11 on the 3rd string. Then I want to do the E minor that we originally had up an octave. So I'm going to take this from 14 of the 4th string, and then play 12 of the 3rd and 2nd. And then from there, I want to play 12, sorry, 15, 14, 12 on the 2nd. So we should now have three arpeggios. Let's keep going, shall we? And then we go into basically, I think, what would be a C-sharp diminished. flat diminished however you want to look at it. I want to start from 15 of the third string I'm going to play 15 and then 14 of the second and then 12 of the first and then from there I want to go 15, 14, 12 on the first. Okay then from there I do a high B minor so I'm playing 14 sorry 16 of the third 15 of the second 14 of the first and then I go 17, 15, 14 on the first string. So let's do the diminished, uh, the C sharp diminished into the B minor. Okay, then I decided to go for a dominant seventh flavor because I'm that kind of guy. I go. So it's nearly exactly the same as the diminished, but I've got a flat middle finger going 14 of the third, 14 of the second, and then 12 of the first, and then it'll go 15, 14, 12 on the first. So let's do what we've got thus far, and then we'll add to it. that's all making sense and then we go into sort of a major seven idea here so I've got a flat finger on 12 of the third and then the second and I play 10 of the first and then it'll go 14 12 10 okay then from there I'm dealing with an F sharp minor this is nice and predictable very similar to the B minor just in a different spot I'm playing 11 of the third 10 of the second 9 of the first and then my descending notes are going 12 10 9 on the first string Let's try the major seven. What is this? It's a G major seven into an F sharp minor. So it goes. Okay, and then from there I go into this, which is an E minor. Now the uh, descending notes on the bottom are just a little bit different to what we had over here. I want to be playing nine of the third, eight of the second, seven of the first. And then what I want to do on the first string is go 10, Nine, seven. Okay, so we're going to go from, let's go from the G major seven again. Let's try and do everything we have thus far from the top. Okay, then I want to do a D major seven exactly the same as what we had in G but over here. So I'm going to do a flat finger on 7 of the 3rd and the 2nd and then I play 5 of the 1st and then the descending notes are going to go 9, 7, 5 on the 1st string. Okay, now the very last bit is a 
smidge different. I'm working with an A major arpeggio here. I'm playing six of the third and then five of the second and the first. My descending notes this time, however, on the second string. So I'm playing eight, seven, five, and then just resolving to a D for some reason. I thought that would be fun. So I'm ending on seven of the third string. Let's try and put the whole thing together from the start and then we'll do it one more time slowly with some tabs. It is a bit tricky, but it is quite delightful, so I hope you guys have enjoyed that. Catch you real soon.